Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down uh, 193. We've got the Nasdaq's off 53. S&P's are off 21. Our uh, guest today, folks, is uh, Oscar Carell. Oscar is the award-winning uh, journalist, photographer, documentarian. Uh, he won an Emmy uh, for the PBS series Exotic Invaders. And I'm sure most of us uh, saw parts of that, folks, because the bottom line, those Burmese pythons coming into the Everglades, um, he got into it a lot more about other exotic invaders coming in. But great film, uh, which was on... Uh, Amazon Prime as well as Netflix. Well, he has a new um, documentary out, and it is uh, something you want to watch. We have the website up right now. The website is floridasmagicwaters.com. And, and this documentary, uh, folks, is The Fellowship of the Springs. It originally um, aired on PBS in April. Uh, it is still on PBS uh, in Florida, and uh, Oscar visited 30 different Florida Springs. And if you've never seen Florida Springs, folks, after this interview, you are going to see them. You're going to come visit us because they are absolutely incredible. Oscar, welcome to TFNN. Thanks, Tom. It's great to be here. I'm telling you, you know, uh, I was actually at, at Kings Bay. Kings Bay is my favorite place to hang out. When I saw this come across the Bloomberg, right? And I says, oh, my God, I got to get this guy on. So first off, t t tell us what you're doing with the Fellowship of the Springs and inform these people just how beautiful, well, how beautiful our springs are. The Fellowship of the Springs for television is a two-part series that we produced for, uh, for PBS in Florida. And it's run in PBS stations all over Florida over the last several months. Um, right now, what we did is we merged the two episodes into one film, and so we are uh, hitting film festivals all over the state of Florida right now um, with, with our documentary in two days. So on Thursday, we have a premiere at the Treasure Coast International Film Festival, and we have the Central Florida International Film Festival and, and several others coming up um, where this is also going to be running. But it's also running on PBS at the same time. It's just kind of a different packaging, so we merged the two. And really what happened was, I wanted to make a, f a film about the springs because I, I love the springs. And when I started uh, kind of investigating what happened with, you know, what's happening with the springs and, and how, how they're being destroyed, um, I figured that I, I needed to put my skills as a journalist to use and to answer the question as to what's happening to these springs and can they be saved. And springs, you mentioned Kings Bay, Tom. Kings Bay is beautiful. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing place that is one of the biggest harbors for manatees in the entire uh, coast of the United States. It's, it's uh, a place where manatees go in the winter, and if you go there kayaking in the winter, you're gonna run into a bunch of manatees. Yes. That's where you go seek, uh, seek warmer waters in the winter. And Three Sister Springs is part of Kings Bay. It's a beautiful place. And, and Kings Bay is, is evidently one of the places that is um, really impacted by what's happening with the springs. A loss of flow at the springs. Also the, the algae uh, blooms that are, that are destroying all the native grasses in the springs. Um, those can be found in Kings Bay. Um, but beyond Kings Bay, Florida has the largest springs and the highest concentration of freshwater springs on Earth. And right now, our, our regulators and our government are not doing a very good job of protecting these places. In fact, um, they're enabling their destruction. And so I think it's important for people to know that their government um, can and should save these places, um, but they're just not doing it because they're basically uh, caving to corporate interests. And you, you know what's so cool? And folks, if you've never been to a spring, I hope that when you see this, and I hope that you, you see Oscar's film, you'll come to a spring. And I can guarantee you, you know, we got a country that's divided. You will not be divided, okay, when you see this nature. Because, you know, the first time that I ever got turned on to this Oscar was only like seven or eight years ago. You know, my better half, Bridget, turned me on to it. I just couldn't believe it. You know, the water gushes out, folks. It's absolutely amazing. And I got to see parts of Kings Bay come back. Because right now, there's parts, like this year, we were just up there three weeks ago. You can see the grass is coming back. I don't know if it was a hurricane, but, you know, there's, well, there's a lot of people doing a lot of work, like yourself, right? I mean, they, right. they're out there raking it. And it's just incredible. Um, once it does come back, I, I, I've got to see the difference, meaning that you're looking down, sometimes, folks, it's dark. Then you're looking down now in parts of it, and you can see right to the bottom. You can see the manatee. You can see all the little fish running around. Really cool, man. I mean, it's really amazing. What I did, what I did. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. 
Uh, King's Bay is being actually actively restored by a group of uh, of engineers that are replanting the grasses that have been killed by the algae. So let's see if that lasts, if it can make it. Right. And when you read that story, it's pretty cool, folks, because once it does grab, right, it, they have a shot. They have a shot. So tell us the, the – so we have the nitrates. Nitrates are hurt in the springs, right? What else is hurt in the springs? Nitrates hurt in the springs. People not basically, uh, well, th throwing – garbage in the springs that's for sure but what are, the, what are the biggest threats to the springs right now there, there's two major threats to the springs right now over pumping of groundwater which is regulated by the water management districts in the state okay and, and pollution from nitrates the the worst pollution from nitrates comes from agriculture and that is happening mostly in northern florida but there's other smaller sources of pollution for uh, some springs such as septic tanks and urban runoff i see Okay. But those two are the, ma are the major factors, overpumping of groundwater and uh, pollution from nitrates. And I think, uh, I think it, the agricultural industry has a role to play here in saving the springs, and they, ne they need to innovate to figure out how to grow um, agriculture using less fertilizer and uh, recycling more water so they don't pump as much water. Well, and and there's no doubt that they, those chemicals aren't good for our bodies, man. They, uh, those chemicals can kill you in a second, man. I mean, that's, if you want to live for a while, folks, <laughs> the, that's, that's the other side of it, right? You know, it's, sometimes it blows my mind that, you know, we, we know the science behind it, and then it's like, okay, how long do you want to live? I mean, you know, and never mind the planet. We, we can see the planet, you know, the, the, we take care of the planet, the planet will take care of us, you know? I mean, that's, right. what, that's what it really comes down to. That outside of the whole, so tell us the, the other springs. I, I'm only familiar really with the Kings Bay and that whole area. Out, other springs in Florida, are there springs that are further out, outside of rivers that are like, a, do you know what I mean? I mean it, yeah. Yeah, there, there's, Florida has uh, some amazing springs. There are these beautiful places that you, you visit and you never forget them because the, just the cold water is a shock to the system. Yeah. And there's places like Wikiwachi Springs, which is about an hour north of Tampa. Yes. And that's, that's an iconic place where mermaids perform in an underwater theater. But you could also kayak down the river and swim around and there's water slides for kids. Then there's places that are more pristine like Alexander Springs or like uh, Glen, uh, Glen Cove Spring, which is in, um, in Ocala National Forest. Uh, and then there's oh. places like Silver Springs, which is one of the biggest tourist attractions in Florida until Disney World opened up in the 70s. Springs were really the first tourist attraction in the state of Florida. And they're, they're iconic places that are important, not just to our, to our heritage, but exactly as you said, Tom, to our drinking water supply. People don't necessarily understand that the water that's coming out of the springs is the water that we're drinking in Florida. And if we keep polluting the aquifer where we, where the, that, that feeds the springs, if we keep polluting that groundwater with nitrates and other pollutants, um, eventually that's going to come back to us in terms of bad health because we're drinking that water. So it's, it's not just in the best interest of the springs to, to reduce pumping and to reduce pollution. It's in the best pit. It's in the best interest of everybody's health in Florida to do this. No, there's no doubt. And what Oscar's talking about, folks, this is pretty cool. I've actually seen this. I've seen when, you know, folks that, you know, really care about Crystal River, they're out there with their rakes, they're cleaning it. What ends up happening, folks, is amazing. They clean it. And then all of a sudden, there's another little spring that's there. They're, they're small. I mean, it's not as big as Crystal River, but there are springs that we don't even know about yet. And yeah. it's amazing. Listen, folks, come over to his website. And, you know, listen, I never asked this. You are going to donate to this guy, okay? The bottom line, he's out here working his butt off, okay? Please come over to the website. We're going to send this out as an email. Donate now. Give 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Give something, folks, okay? Because the bottom line, it's beautiful. You want your children to see it, your grandchildren to see it. And you got to see it, man. If you haven't seen it, you're crazy. Come on down. Oscar, this was awesome, man. Appreciate you having on. Love to have you on again.